to learn the good, the bad, and the reality of the off-grid lifestyle, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell notification. As I said recently, we're getting ready to go down to our property. We're probably less than a week away. Forgot my glasses. Less than a week away from going down there. Hopefully we'll be down there by next Thursday. Today's Friday. Of course, I don't know what day you're going to get this video. It's uh, My videos are already eight to nine days after I record them. And so I'm trying to get everything, all the last minute preparations taken care of so that when we go down there, we have no stress. You know, all the stress was done here while we were at mom's and we had all the resources. And then we can get down there and pretty much just install everything that we need to get installed. I've tested most everything I can test here. But the first thing we're gonna do when we get down there is install the well pump. The well pump is, is a long, cylindrical item and this pump literally just goes right down the hole of the well about 130 well the pumps the well is 130 feet I think we'll drop it down to 120 feet because you're not supposed to rest it right on the bottom of the well because it picks all that sediment up and so what I'm going to do today is I am going to add the wire that I need to add 250 feet of wire is what I got I got a whole roll of it right here so then I'll, I'll just, I'm going to wire this up today. I'm going to show you how to do that. The reason I'm doing the wiring today is because when this goes inside the water, see, there's only like 10 feet of wire that comes attached to the pump. If I was to put this down right into the well, the wiring could actually ground itself out, the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it up really good. So I got all kinds of fittings and connections that, I got, uh, that I'm going to use uh, to make sure that it's sealed up. And then as an additional measure, I'm gonna put flex seal glue. This is flex seal glue. You can use silicone, but I have found that flex seal glue is absolutely amazing stuff. I use this stuff on the roof of my camper to seal up all the nail holes. The, so far, the best thing I've ever used. I've used silicone and everything up there. This works really well. They ground out while it's down in the water. I gotta pull the pump back out and, and do it over again. Going down is gonna be quite light, but pulling up a pump that's full of water, because you got the hose, this is this is gonna be 150 feet of hose that's gonna go down there, and it's gonna be full of water. Now, when I get down there, I'm gonna show you how we actually are gonna put it down in the hole. Hopefully everything will go together quite quickly once we get down there, but it's really not hard. This is one and a quarter inches uh, that the water will come out of. I'm gonna reduce that down to one inch because the pipe, I couldn't hardly find one and a quarter inch pipe, so I figured, instead of just continuously trying to find it all over the country, I would get one inch and I, I looked it up. I can, I can reduce it down to the quarter inch. So I got a reducer here that I'm just gonna put right there. Then I'm gonna stick a piece of pipe, this black pipe right here, right here, I don't know, two or three inches. And then you're gonna have a check valve. And I know this is gonna be really hard to see, but what a check valve does is that it makes water go one way, but not the other way. The pump currently has a check valve in it, but it says right here on the side, even a pump that already has a built-in check valve, it is strongly recommended to install an external check valve on the top of the pump. So we'll install that about there. And so that makes the water go one direction, which is up, which is the direction we want to go, but not back down. That way the hose doesn't empty itself every time you shut off the pump because the water would just run right back down into the well. Also has some polypropylene rope. Uh, what is this? Five thirty seconds. It's fifty feet. I got four of these, and what I'll do is I'll tie this right to the well here. Comes specifically designed. That way, you don't actually lower the well down by the hose or by the wiring because those two items are really critical. And it gives you three. Actually, it gives you three different measurements of safety. You don't want to put the weight on any of the wires. At the end of the video, I'm gonna put this pump in a trash can full of water, and I'm gonna test it to make sure it works. I'm gonna use outdoor wire because the wire is going to be submerged in water. It's gonna be outside all the time. And the, the primary difference between outdoor wire, this is 12-2 with ground outdoor wire, is this is all encapsulated in, in a sheath, and you gotta strip all that sheath away. Whereas indoor wire comes individually wrapped. So so you have your positive, your negative, and then the ground. So then I'll have to cut into this and break all that out, being careful that I don't expose the wire because that's, you know, if the wire gets exposed, 
and then of course I could cause a short in the water. Okay, so I've stripped away the, the, the sheath that completely encapsulates it. And so what I'll do is I'll take my wire strippers. I know this is 12, uh, 12 gauge wire. And you take your wire strippers, it says 12 right there. You squeeze, it pops right off. And then you expose the little tip there. All right, so this little device right here, you squeeze on to the end of the wire. And so that will make the connection between the two wires. And I've already done one side and now I'll do the other side. And it's really not hard, you just slide it right on and then you squeeze it. And since I've already squeezed it, I'll show you again. I just, uh, it's hard to do on camera one-handed. So like that, that's all you gotta do is squeeze it. Now, when I get the two wires connected, the, you get these little sleeves these sleeves shrink down with a flame. And so when you have both wires in there, you'll, you'll shrink that down and it'll make a nice little seal. And then we'll put some flex seal on top of that and tape and flex seal and tape and just get it nice and, and, and thick so we can sh be sure that it's not going to leak. So now the wire is connected, slide the sheath on. The video I watched by an actual plumber, that's all he used, but I don't, trust myself enough. I'm not a professional. I don't know how well things work. Once I get the pump down in there, I don't want to have to pull it back out. I want to make sure it works. I'm going to seal this up. Okay, so I've sealed it up with the, a lighter. Worked really well. It's a little breezy so the lighter didn't stay lit. But that's all you had to do. And now it's all sealed up. I actually think that that would work by itself, but I, of course, again, I'm not going to trust it. Okay, so I got all three of the wires done. So now I have the hot the negative and the ground, they're all sealed up. I didn't have to seal the ground like this, but I did anyways, because I already had an extra one. Figured it'd be, just keep it extra secure. And I'm gonna treat it just like the rest of them. But water's gonna get down into that one, no matter what we do. So you can't avoid the ground. Besides that, the water is going to create a ground. The pump came with waterproof tape and electrical tape. So I'm gonna seal this up with Flex Seal. And then I think I'm gonna use the waterproof tape, wrap it around each one uh, real good. Then seal it up again, put some electrical tape, and just keep going through it like that. All right, I'm going to put the Flex Seal glue right on my finger, like that. And then I'm just going to seal up the edges of the, the shrink sleeve, kind of like this. I'm going to do that on each edge, and then I'm going to tape it up. Okay, so now i got all three wires sealed with Flex Seal glue. I guess it's Flex Glue is what it's called. Again. And I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to put the electrical tape over it. And then I'm going to put the waterproof tape over it. And then I'll seal it up again. And then I'll just test it in the water after it dries. Okay, so I filled the trash can up with water. And it's going to overflow because I'm still filling the bucket up. I'm not going to shut the water off. And I've tested my wiring and water's coming out just perfectly, just like it's supposed to, uh, through the well. Now, I have not uh, taped up the wires yet. I'm waiting for that to dry. It's still a little sticky. Uh, probably another 10 minutes or so and I'll be able to tape that up. And then what I'll do is I'll put this wire, after I get it all taped up, in the water, put it back over here and see if it, you know, does anything like, you know, pops a breaker or anything. If it does, then I know that I have to uh, keep sealing it up because water has made it conductive and grounded it out. But right now, man, that is fantastic. Now, when I did this, I want to make sure that you understand I use bleach water because, you know, I tried to clean the trash can as good as I can, but who knows what's in it. Now, when I put the pump down in the well and I get it running, I'll do the same thing. I'll put half a gallon of bleach in the well. I'll stir it up real well. You know, I'll put the hose back down into the well and I'll just recycle it until I sm smell bleach coming out of the hose, out of the top end, and then I'll let it sit overnight. And that's what's called shocking the well. Now, of course, I'll show you all this when I actually get down there next week, but uh, that's the idea. And really, if you look at this as a well right now, I'm shocking the well. I've got bleach water in it and I'm pumping it through so it'll get all mixed up. And then, you know, everything's sanitized. Then the next day, you pump all that water out, so it'll be like pumping all the water out of here, until you don't smell the bleach water anymore, and then you've uh, cleaned your well. 
That way it's all sanitized. And you need to do that. Anytime you put a well in, you need to you need to shock the well because you know all the you know my hands. Look at it, I got a cut on my hand. You don't want that in the water, so you want to you know get all that killed and cleaned out. Okay, now I put the wire in the water. I've taped it up real good. Everything seems to be working. So Carolyn went ahead and talked me into starting up the generator just in case it wouldn't start. And uh, it took us a few minutes to get it started. It's been a while since it's been running. But sure enough, for those who said that you cannot run a well off a generator, there we go. We're running it off the generator. And uh, to show you, I'll unplug it. I'll plug it back in. That's it. Running great. Thanks for watching.